It's time for your primetime forecast from Dr. Don's weather page in the Shepherd's Weather Center. Now, here's Dr. Don. Good Saturday morning to you, East Alabama and West Georgia, or wherever you may be watching from this morning across the whole wide world. This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia, the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for Saturday, February the 6th, 2021. Don't forget to head over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. There is a link at the top of this video to carry you there. It's quick, fast, easy, secure, and we depend on your support to keep this going. Also, if you or someone you know owns a business, and if you'd like to become a partner with Dr. Don's weather page, just click on that send message button at the bottom of the video. And we can have you started before we do our Sunday morning edition. Today in weather history, it was the famous Cold Friday on this date back in 1807. In the Midwest and in the South, the temperature did not rise above zero in places like Ohio and Kentucky. Also on this date back in 1978, a massive nor'eastern buried the cities of northeastern U.S. Storm totals included 18 inches in New York City, 16 in Philadelphia, 14 at Baltimore. Uh, Boston, Massachusetts area received 25 to 30 inches. The Great New England blizzard and the mayor outlawed, uh, outlawed travel in the city for an entire week. <laughs> that was back in 1978. Nothing like that today across the southeast. And we're not even looking at much in the way of thunderstorms, even though there is a small area down there in Florida where we could see a few rumbles of thunder, nothing like that across East Alabama or West Georgia. We do have a winter storm warning, though, that has been placed uh, in effect or will go into effect at 7 p.m. this evening for a few counties across Northeast Georgia. Uh, you folks down there in East Alabama and West Georgia that may be traveling up this weekend to hang with us in places like Dahlonega, Blairsville, Helen, uh, up in Dillard, Mountain City, Clayton, over into Clarksville, uh, in places in Hammersham County. We do have a winter storm warning that will go in effect at 7 o'clock tonight and will continue through Sunday for the possibility of snow accumulations of one to three inches with higher accumulations possible in the higher elevations across those counties of Union Towns, Rabin, Habersham, Lumpkin, and White. We do have a winter weather advisory for those counties just to the west of our northeast Georgia mountain county. So uh, I don't think this is something that should deter you from traveling into northeast Georgia. You got all day long today to get up here and uh, maybe even get to see a little snow tonight and travel problems if there are any should be during the overnight hours. I think everything will be okay by Sunday afternoon. So yeah, might be a good weekend to head up to the North Georgia mountains if you want to play and a little snow. Here is your national map in motion. And you can see that rainy mess across Alabama and Georgia. You also see that blue zip across North Alabama and North Georgia as we have that warm front that's lifting to the north and northeast and then that cold front hanging out up there to the north of us. Kind of keeping us in the squeeze play between two systems and that's what's going to cause all this mess today and the possibilities of a little snow across North Alabama and North Georgia. Could even see a flake or two at the very end of this across East Alabama and West Georgia. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Temperatures expected uh, for your high this afternoon, 45 in Roanoke. We'll do 45 in Wadley, Wadawi, 44 up on the hill in Woodland, Carrollton. We'll go to 46 this afternoon. 46 in Alexander City, Beauregard goes to 45 and Boimingham. We'll top out at 47 this afternoon. Cloudy skies to start the day, rainy situation this afternoon across Alabama and Georgia. Your satellite from the goes east southern Mississippi Valley shot this morning showing those, those clouds kind of streaming to the east and coming up from the south. So if it's not cloudy at your house right now, and if you live anywhere in uh, Alabama or Georgia, it will be cloudy soon <laughs> because the clouds are coming. We still uh, can see the moon up here in North Georgia early 
on this Saturday morning, but that will change rather rapidly. We see clouds coming up from the south and also clouds coming from the northwest. Total rainfall amounts expected over the course of the next five days across East Alabama and West Georgia. Most locations will be in the three quarter to one inch range. Uh, you get down there around the I-85 corridor, it's uh, about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. And to get up there uh, into uh, the Birmingham area, you are looking at about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. Here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar scanning the skies of the southeastern United States. And you see that precipitation very slowly creeping up to the north. That is that front that's coming up off the Gulf of Mexico that's going to be moving off to the north and the northeast. And then we have more precipitation coming at us from the northwest as well. Let's zoom in to East Alabama and West Georgia. And we'll see that there's not a whole lot going on out there right this moment. Just a few scattered light showers, which may not even be making it to the ground down there near Lafayette, uh, just to the north and west of LaGrange and then north of Columbus up there in Harris County. Just a few scattered light showers south of I-85 down there in southeastern Lee County as well. But that'll be changing as we go throughout the morning. Showers will be on the increase. Let's take a look at the Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler uh, future cast radar. And this is a model depiction of what will happen later today. We start this at 7 a.m. this morning. You see that we do have some rain uh, moving in by 7 a.m. Then it gets up into uh, the I-20 corridor by noon today, and then it just fills in. Uh, and it's going to be a cold, rainy, wet Saturday afternoon. It's not going to rain the entire time. You can see a lot of the stuff is of the scattered variety. And as we get into uh, early hours of Sunday morning, the stuff starts to move off to the northeast. Now let's zoom in on the northeast Georgia mountains and take a look at the snow possibilities for those of you who may be headed up this way this weekend. Uh, here we go at noon today, then about 1 o'clock, uh, we start to see the rain move in. And then by 4 o'clock this afternoon, models are telling us we start to see snow at higher elevations, up above 2,000 feet there across the Appalachian Trail and the chain of mountains there from Springer Mountain all the way up to Clayton. And then by 5 o'clock, that starts, the snow level starts to drop down maybe to around 1,500 feet. And then uh, we see snow falling from places like Jasper to north of Dahlonega to near Helen. And then by 6 p.m. this evening, we get snow down to around 1,500 feet or maybe even a little lower than that, uh, all the way down to Gainesville maybe. Uh, and then some accumulating snow possible in Helen, Cleveland, Dahlonega, Young Harris, up there around Clayton, uh, Tallulah Falls, back over toward Toccoa, uh, Ella J, Blue Ridge, uh, Clayton, Georgia, up there around Dillard, Young Harris up in Towns County. All of these locations getting in on the snow by 7 p.m. this evening. I think that will probably be right in the beginning of the height of it. But then we get a warm nose that pushes up from the south. And so the lower elevations will lose the snow, maybe change back over to a mixture of snow and rain for a while. And then up in the higher elevations, uh, we may start to change over from a snow to more of a sleet and or freezing rain mixture after about 9 or 10 p.m. this evening. At least that's what the model thinks. We do have a winter storm warning in effect for these areas. So weather forecast uh, is kind of right there uh, on the fence as to whether we change back over to uh, freezing rain and sleet or whether we stay all snow all night long. We're going to have to keep a real close eye on that as we go throughout the evening. And then by about 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, we start to see snow break out again back over to the west across northeast Alabama. And uh, we start to cool off again there. That warm nose moves on off to the northeast. So then we start to get scattered snow showers all across northeast Alabama, northwest Georgia, and across north Georgia. It may be as far south as the I-20 corridor. And we cannot rule out the possibility of a little mixture or brief changeover even down into East Alabama and West Georgia towards sunrise on Sunday morning. Just depends. You know how this works. It just depends on how much moisture is still hanging around when that cold air starts to spill 
into East Alabama. Future cast radar not showing any snow across East Alabama and West Georgia, but again, this is a model and we all know that placement is not exact even when we get as close as we are to this event. Uh, so we do still have moisture at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning across East Alabama, so it is certainly possible that some of that could be a mixture of rain, sleet, and or snow. No accumulations, though, across East Alabama and West Georgia. Current conditions, we have 42 degrees. We did make it to 36 this morning at 1249 a.m. Wind is currently calm, dew point 25.1. Relative humidity is 51%. Your forecast for today, rain. It'll be increasing throughout the morning and should be steady by noontime. 47 will be your daytime high. Wind will be turning out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunrise this morning at 6.44 a.m. Sunsets this evening at 5.19 p.m. Visibility out to 10 miles and we have had no measurable precipitation since midnight last night. So here's your six-day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for your Saturday. A 90% chance of rain today. That will be slowly on the increase throughout the morning. By noon or shortly after, should be raining pretty much everywhere. 45, so it's going to be a cold rain this afternoon. We'll dip down to 36 tonight, and yes, we cannot rule out the possibility of a mixed-in snowflake by sunrise tomorrow morning. No big deal, no travel issues expected in East Alabama or West Georgia. That could be a different story up here in Northeast Georgia. On Sunday, we'll go back mostly sunny by afternoon, rebound nicely to 52 degrees, down to 30 on Sunday night. Monday will be mostly sunny, high of 60, overnight low of 43. And then out there on Tuesday, here comes, or actually Monday night, here comes our next storm system with a 40% chance of rain. Tuesday looks to be about a 40 to a 50% chance of shower, 65, rather mild. Wednesday, a 30% chance of shower, 64. On Thursday, maybe some thunderstorms to deal with. A pretty vigorous storm system coming our way. 60 will be your high on Thursday, down to 47 on Thursday night. Hang on to your hat. <laughs> Uh, this is the long-range possibilities. I have made a decision, this being an executive decision, that moving forward, I will no longer call anything past three days a forecast. I'm going to call it possibilities because that is exactly what it is. All right, so, uh, you know, this time yesterday wasn't showing all of this. Some of the models were, but the long-range possibilities uh, not showing this yesterday. Well, now today they are. And like I've told you before, this anything past three days is fluid and constantly changing. So here we go with Friday, February 12, morning shower 67, and then the bottom drops out. <laughs> I'm talking about we go off into the deep freeze. Uh, down to 31 that night. Then on Saturday the 13th, maybe some afternoon snow. 42 for your daytime high, down to 20 on Saturday night. And then Sunday, Valentine's Day, it'll be sunny and cool. But look at the daytime high, 34, as the freezer door will be wide open, down to 13 on the evening of Valentine's. <laughs> And then on Monday, maybe some afternoon snow, 48, down to 23 that night. Tuesday the 16th, a little rain and snow mixture, 48, down to 24. And then on Wednesday the 17th, cool, cloudy, 48, down to 28. Now, we may have to move that snow back up to around the 12th. Uh, the models are screaming that. They were last night. This morning, they're not. Tomorrow, they will. I mean, this is just the way it works. Those are your possibilities for the extended period. Check us out at drdonwx.com. While you're there, head over to the God's Country page where you can download the Mixler app and listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. Also, tune your radios to 89.7 if you're in East Alabama or West Georgia. It's WJHO, brand new station operated by the fine folks at God's Country. They play the classics, good music. How about some doobies this morning? You can hear it right there on the classic. 
Now, we also have Severe Weather Awareness Week coming up in Alabama. If you go to Dr. Don's weather page, you can find all kinds of severe weather information on how to prepare yourself because, yes, our severe weather season, primary severe weather season, is right around the corner. Also, there's going to be a tax-free uh, weekend coming up at the end of next week where you can buy supplies in Alabama uh, to prepare yourself for severe weather. So take advantage of that as well. Top of this video, you'll see a link that will carry you over to Dr. Don's weather page on YouTube. Please do that and subscribe to our channel. Click on that little bell so that when we go live for severe weather, you're sure to get a push notification. Dr. Don's weather page is powered by our supporters, Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts in downtown Roanoke, Judy Aubrey, by Brandon Brown of BR Construction, Wadley, Alabama, by Liesel, Kelly, and LaVoy Caldwell of Lake Weedowie Life, by Jimmy Stevens Construction, Remodeling and New Homes, by Joey Knight, Auction 431 South in Phoenix City. By Neil Johnson, Superior Heating and Air Conditioning. By Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. Made in the South, a division of Southeast Soft Wash. By Joey Knight, Anchor Roofing, free estimates, free inspections and by Mark Mitchell of Bama Diesel Repair in Woodland, Alabama. Let's take a last look at your Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar scanning the skies of Alabama and Georgia this morning. From the Shelby County Airport, oh look there, let's zoom in real close on Randolph County. Uh, you see a little, little white and a little red there. Um, we're talking this may be three or four, three or four front yards. <laughs> it's not a very big area, and it wouldn't surprise me at all to see a few reports of sleet this morning in the onset of the precipitation. Now, most likely, this is not making it to the ground just yet, but it's possible to see a little sleet mixed in with the rain when it first starts, and it'll go all liquid and stay that way pretty much throughout the entire day. And then after midnight tonight, probably towards sunrise tomorrow morning, some of that could mix with a little snow. No travel problems anticipated across East Alabama or West Georgia. You see uh, several areas of precipitation there around Pine Mountain, up around Hogansville, uh, between Lafayette and LaGrange there on Highway 109, and then some light showers there across Randolph County. Again, a lot of that's probably not making it to the ground. Uh, but if it is, it could have a little sleet mixed in with it. No big deal. Not going to cause any travel problems. Uh, North Georgia not showing any precipitation yet. We do have a winter storm warning in effect for a handful of counties up here in the northeast Georgia mountains. If you are traveling up to maybe Helen or Blue Ridge or Blairsville or Dahlonega uh, for the weekend, no, no travel worries. You got all day long to get up here before the snow sets in, which will probably be towards sunset or shortly after this evening. Don't forget to support us at paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX. There is a link at the top of this video that will carry you over there. It's quick, fast, secure, easy, and we appreciate it. We appreciate the support. If you'd like to support, uh, be a partner to support us, if you have a business, then click on that send message button at the bottom of the video, and we can have you fixed up and started by the time we do our Sunday morning prime time forecast here on Dr. Don's weather page. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll see you back in here bright and early Sunday morning on Dr. Don's weather page. Y'all have a fantastic Saturday. Bye now.